Good morning, friends, and welcome back to our little house on the mountain. It is a rainy morning here, and I am so incredibly thankful. We have not been getting uh, enough rain for the last couple of weeks, and the ground was so dry and thirsty, and it needed the rain. So when I woke up very early this morning to the thunder and the dogs climbing all over me because they're scared of the thunder, I was so relieved to hear the rain hitting the window. So I came downstairs early this morning and there's that little breeze coming through the window that you get when it rains. And I really enjoyed that early morning time today. Just being able to be still with the father and listen to the pitter patter of the rain. While I was uh, listening to the rain, I really felt like the father was showing me something because I've, I've been in a season of struggle. I shared a glimpse of that on social media the other day, shared here on the community tab and over on Instagram um, that I'm in a season of struggling right now. The point that I brought out was that I tend to always struggle this time of year, typically between like the second week in July, mid-July to the third week in August when it's the hottest part of the year, year here for us. Mind you, we do generally get pretty temperate weather, nothing to complain about the whole year, but for me, it's toasty, and I do not do well physically or mentally in the hot weather. Thanks, sweetheart. Maybe not all the licking. You're okay. It's just a lot of licking on the camera. I think the microphone picks it up. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm, I've been in a season of struggling and the heat affects me negatively. So every day is a pep talk and a prayer walk to kind of get through the basic things of the day. So it was very refreshing to have that rain this morning. Even though it's humid, it was a slight reprieve. We also had the electricity go out early this morning so when I came downstairs it was just very very still and I'm going to show you guys a few clips from the morning. So that was the beautiful morning and what the father was showing me is that during these seasons of struggle you can compare them to those seasons of dryness and I, I would be going outside and looking at the hillside looking at the land looking at the wildflowers by the lake looking at my gardens and I could just see that the plants were thirsting and those little tiny drips and drabs of water that I was giving it from the hose trying to every day just wasn't satisfying its need for water and when I went out there today because I went out there and I just squatted down in the garden 
and let the rain hit my head for a few minutes, pick some chives for the eggs this morning. And I looked around and the garden just looked so revived and refreshed and alive just from that one drenching rain this morning. It just reminded me of the scripture that you know, we, we long, our soul longs for the Lord as in a dry and weary land. And um, just as the deer pants for the water brook, so my soul longs after you, Lord. And I think in dry seasons and seasons of struggle, sometimes it can feel like the rain is never going to come. And I keep telling myself, you know, we're called to wait on the Lord. And he promises if we wait on him, he will renew our strength. And I do believe that all of the Lord's promises in his word are true. I believe that with all my heart. Um, I believe that he is faithful to keep his word. It doesn't always maybe look the way that we think it's going to look when it's played out, but he is always faithful to keep his word. And so just as the garden looked so refreshed this morning, I just was praying and I was like, Lord, I need, I need a, I need a rain. You know, I need a refreshing. I need, I need your touch. I need your presence. And um, I know, I know that the Lord will bring the refreshing. I know the dry season won't be forever. I know that the seasons of struggle will not be forever. We're in like a waiting season on a lot of things. And that is sometimes uh, one of the hardest places to be in because you're really tested in the area of trust and surrender. And I think as humans, we naturally want to control things and we want answers and we don't want to be uncomfortable. And so that waiting is, is very challenging. I am going to show you guys a few clips of one of the very sunny uh, dry days that we've been having. I captured some of the things around the mountain because even in the midst of the challenging season, the dry season, there is beauty. And so I captured a little bit of that beauty. I captured a bit of July on the mountain. So I hope you enjoy these clips. It's amazing to me as I think back on a time in my life when I didn't have the Lord and I didn't know him. I didn't really know him, even when I would have considered myself a false convert. I didn't really know him and I, I didn't really know his word. I actually don't know how I got through. I mean, it, it wasn't very gracefully. How I got through a lot of my life without him. I, I even believe that even when I wasn't walking with him, he was preserving me. And that is very, very humbling. There's a lot of things I don't 
share on the internet just because I have, well, I, I have trust issues. I've had some bad experiences on the internet, um, but I just, I feel like certain parts of life, I just desire to keep private um, at certain times. I think there's a time for things and the internet has become a place where people share everything and anything at any given moment without a lot of thought. <laughs> And so I think there's a time and a place for things. But I did think it was important today because I, I am sure that a lot of you, especially with everything going on in the world, are going through seasons of struggle for different reasons. And one, I just want to share how knowing the Lord, knowing all, the Almighty, Yah, Yahweh, knowing the Creator God has changed my life so dramatically and how I face the seasons of struggle. Because I know that I have a father who loves me, just like my earthly dad does. And he, like my earthly dad, he's always been there to catch me. I'm, I'm very blessed in that way. And he's, he's always there to do whatever is in his power to help me. And I have a perfect father in heaven who loves me. I've I've always had a really hard time with that. Accepting his his love and his grace. But he's shown me a lot about that in the last few months. Um, resting in him. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He he promises the refreshing. He promises the rest. And so with him, you're not just walking aimlessly through trials, hoping to grasp on to some bit of peace here and some bit of joy here. It's in him and it's available. And so as you're going through seasons of struggle, testing, trial, you can reach into that storehouse. When you, when you have the Holy Spirit in you, and you have relationship with the creator of all things, there's this storehouse of treasure and you can reach in and, and pull from it. Things in life might feel dry, but he has a living water and those who drink of his living water will never thirst again, never spiritually thirst again. We might thirst in different areas of our life, but he's at that wellspring and I'm so grateful for that. And then I think the other thing is being able to apply that on a daily basis. And sometimes it's easy. Sometimes I breeze through the day and it's easy to apply the word of God to my life and to speak the word of God over my life. And then some days it's hard and I have to sit there and keep saying it over and over and over again. And that's okay. As long as we're using the right weapons to fight the battle. I mentioned in, the, in one of our vlogs, we do a weekly vlog on Patreon that James has been doing. And I mentioned a, a little conversation I had briefly with my mom the other day and just something I've been talking about. And it's that it's okay to be sad and it's okay to struggle. And it's okay to feel those human emotions so long as those quote negative emotions do not overshadow the blessed hope that we have in the Lord do not overshadow his word because his word his truths have preeminence over all circumstance over everything in this world and everything in this life and we have to know that and believe that and there's so much power in that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today I know it's different but I, I did ask for suggestions of videos because I have a bit of a hard time concentrating in the, the hot weather and one of you suggested me to just sit down and share about this struggle so I hope you enjoyed the the clips and the little chat um, thank you for your encouragement for watching make sure to hit the notification bell and if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to I'd love to have you 
join us here at the Little House of the Mountain. If you have not seen our other channel, Little House Story Corner, I will leave links to that in the description box and pinned in the comments below. And you can find lots of information about what we're doing, including our blog at www.ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com. And right now I'm working on being able to restock the Etsy store for fall. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys again for all of your support and your love. And Lord willing, I'll see all of you right here on the next one. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.